The Square Golf Launch Monitor is arguably one of the best budget launch monitors on the market at the moment. And one of the main reasons for that is because of its official integration with the Golf Simulator software GS Pro. But how exactly do you connect the Square Golf Launch Monitor to GS Pro? Well, stick around and I'm going to show you. Let's head over to the computer and we're going to head to the Square Golf website. So all you got to do is just type in GS Pro Square Golf Launch Monitor and you'll be able to click on a link that takes you to this page. Now we've got a very simple how to set up guide here. And effectively, once you've bought your GS Pro license, we need to download and install this GS Pro connector. So click on that little link there. Once it's downloaded, get it opened up. I'm gonna create a little desktop shortcut for it. Okay, the next step is to open up the GS Pro app that you should have already downloaded and then open up the GS Pro connector. Now, if you don't know how to do this, all you've got to do is head to settings, go down to system and press reset GS Pro Connect and then here it comes up. Now you've just got to make sure that your Square Golf Launch Monitor is powered on and it's in the Bluetooth pairing mode which is the flashing blue light. Now on the GS Pro connector we're just going to press the open API button then we're going to head over pressing Alt and Tab to the Square Golf connector and we're going to hit scan. Okay, then you, if you don't find it straight away, you just gotta click on the drop down menu and click your Square Golf Launch Monitor. Now, one important thing to note here is you've got to make sure that you are not connected to the Square Golf app. So if you are, just log out of all of that. As long as your Square Golf Launch Monitor is turned on and you've got the Bluetooth light flashing blue, then you can connect via the GS Pro connector. So all you gotta do is hit connect, wait for this red light to turn green, and once we've done that, we're gonna go down to the GS Pro box. You're gonna connect that, wait for that to turn green as well. And just head back to the GS Pro app to make sure that the bar on the API has turned green. If it has, we're good to go. Now, just to demonstrate, we'll head over to the practice range. I'm gonna find a cool little dynamic hole to play at random. We'll go on the lovely randomizer feature that I do enjoy. 95 yards, eight yards down the hill. Come on, back in. This could be all right. Get in the hole. Oh, what a shot. If this video has been helpful, then be sure to give it a like. Head over to Handicap Golf and subscribe to the channel for more helpful home golf simulator content. And if you want to see more of GS Pro and the Square Golf Launch Monitor, click on the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you over there in a moment.